Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What a crazy day of Headliners Day 1 on FIFA Ultimate Team and FIFA 20. They went all out with a team selection. They had a great SBC and a Dama Trere. I don't think we anybody accepted or expected that. And then even a decent as well. So we're going to talk about all the content that came out today. Uh, the player selection, the market movements, the SBCs everything and even talking about these upgrades kind of their prices down the line what can you expect out of these cards as we go the next couple of weeks and just looking at the general promo information as well so i know you a lot of you guys have probably digested this information you've figured out what is going on with these cards but i just think it's so cool right this is like it's like a road to the final item and a ones to watch item combined because they get upgraded for their personal individual performance and they also get upgraded for their team performance which they don't necessarily have to play good in if their team's playing well boom they can possibly get an upgrade so i think that is awesome ggs to ea for this type of content you know they could have easily copied and pasted another promo right they could have this is a new promo last year and it was sweet they could have easily copied and pasted it but they didn't they added something else to it which is awesome you love to see it like today i think in fifa was like I think it's like a 9 out of 10 kind of day in foot. Like, this was amazing. Player selection was fantastic. SBC player selection, great. Pricing on SBCs, great. Objectives, great. It was honestly a great day in FIFA Ultimate Team. I just said the word great way too many times. But just a quick overview on these cards. Of course, they get upgraded like a ones to watch item. Um, if they get another inform, this card will be the next highest level, right? So it's the same concept as last year. These cards will always be one level above their latest inform that they get on the game. So that's kind of make, these are live items. These these guys are live items. We have to watch them in real life. If they're gonna get an inform, if they have the possibility to get an inform, we see their price rise and stuff like that. But also, FIFA 20 headliners will also re receive an additional one-time permanent upgrade if their club achieves four back-to-back -back wins during the remainder of the domestic league season. So this is only for league games, but that they win four consecutive games in the league, these guys will get another upgrade. If that occurs, the headliners will remain two informs ahead of their last performance-based inform throughout FIFA 20. So right now, they're one inform ahead. If they do get that four in a row win streak, they will get upgraded and be two informs ahead. So these cards by the end of the game could be nasty. Neymar, Probably should get another inform, right? At least he's going to a 95 rated because I do assume PSG will be able to win four games in a row. Um, so PSG wins four in a row. He goes to a 95, gets another stat boost. That'll probably give him a 90 shooting as well, which would be sick. So boom, he goes to a 95 rated. He gets one more inform. He's at a 96 rated card. And then you have like your best Neymar for the year. Uh, even a couple other informs, maybe even like a team of the knockout stage card if, if they play well. Boom, maybe he's at like a 97, a 98 rated card by the end of the year. Could be sick. So these cards are going to be basically the best version until team of the season for these players in the game. Lewandowski, Varane, Salah, Mertens. If they all get team of the season cards, those would be the only cards that would have a chance to be and probably would be. But those would be the only cards that would step over these headliners. So I think that's just freaking sweet. So going through a few of these frequently asked questions. Uh, they really, really loosened up on their, uh, who qualifies to be a foot headliner. Cause last year they had in this section, they said you couldn't be a road to the final. You couldn't be a, a ones to watch and you couldn't have a team of the year. And this year, um, nobody, I, don't, I think nobody in this promo has a team of the year. No, nobody in this promo has a team of the year card, but a lot of these guys were people we wanted to see in team of the year, especially the Neymar and the Lewandowski. Lewandowski being in that player vote, Neymar being, you know, one of the probably highest voted players left out of team of the year. So it's cool that we get another high rated version of those cards in this promo. Yes, they are dynamic items. What is a performance based inform? Uh, anything basically other than like a player of the month, stuff like that. Um, and then which games qualify are domestic league club wins? It's only uh, in the league, right? Premier League, League Un. Um, La Liga stuff like that and the, the winning streak starts on the 17th so that's like today when I'm recording this or uh, tomorrow for you guys but this win streak t starts this weekend so right now everybody's on zero until after this weekend these clubs have their first game so that means these cards won't get that boost uh, until probably around a month right four game weeks later is, is it going to be before these players could even possibly get that other boost so it's going to be a little bit of a wait 
on some of these cards. This is the other cool thing. I think this is pretty dope, right? If the player's club achieves the four-game winning streak, the, up the upgraded image will show a glow around the player. So that makes me think about like FIFA 19 or FIFA 18 Scream Team, right? When they were boosted, the stats were boosted, you saw like that glow around the player. I'm kind of interested to see how that looks with these cards because I, if they make it look bad, then <laughs> I don't know. But still, the upgrade would be nice. And that's just another cool concept with these, with the whole team thing. I think that's awesome. Again, super, super big fan of that. I like this. I like this promo. It's cool. It's it's new. Uh, and they, they added a twist to it when they could have copied and pasted it from last year, which is, which is what I said earlier. But I want to talk about and look at the SBCs and objective really quick from today. Objective player uh, is pretty easy to get. And it kind of has to be easy to get, right? Because we have two Bundesliga strikers that just came out into the, to, into the game today. This is the third one. Um, Timo Werner, Player of the Month card, and then Lewandowski getting another special in a headliner. Then you have headliner player as well. So if you need a French first owner team, you need a Bundesliga first owner team, this guy could help you out with that. Not too sure how Muchen Gladbach is playing, but if they can string four wins together, boom, you might go to an 87 rated card. If you can get another inform, go to an 87 as well. Pretty solid card, nothing amazing, but if you like to grind objectives, this is a cool card that you could get. And it's honestly not that hard of an objective which i think they kind of had to do based on how many other of the bundesliga strikers we had put onto the game today then the big thing that everybody was looking at today is this guy right here adama treore headliner card a lot of people expected him to get a headliner but i didn't think we expected him to get an sbc the way that since they made this guy available through sbc uh, I think this is good value because I feel like his SBC would be worth more or his card would be worth more if this was on the market. I think this would be like a 400,000 coin card if he was on the market, maybe even 500k because his scream card was like 300,000 coins at one point before he got that other inform. So I think this is incredible value in this SBC and this is why you saw some of the high rated fodder go up today, 85s, 86s, 87s all went up a little bit today, which was a little bit unexpected. You usually don't get day one promo drops with this good value of an SBC with the player selection and the card boost. It is his best card in all stat categories based on any other card that he has. So, and it's a live item. So if you're doing this SBC, I totally understand why. And I know a lot of people don't like this card, right? Because if we go in and look at some of his in-games, he's got a two-star weak foot. He has pretty low composure for an attacker, 75 composure. Um, and he's got only 77 finishing, 80 attack positioning, and the likes but the thing that he does have is 99 pace really high agility and balance he's going to feel great on the ball and he's going to be freaking blazing fast and that's why people like this card that's why people want to use him this guy is kind of taking over fifa this year right with his informs with his scream card this guy is kind of like the chucky lozano of fifa 18 that's how i'm going to kind of put it right and when there's a card like that each FIFA, there's always that one card each year, right? I mean, Ben Yedder has kind of come to form, but we had the Lozano super sub that was a beast. Earlier this year, we had Orsic who was a beast for a little bit. Last year, I don't know who it was exactly, but there's always one of those cards in FIFA where it's just an overpowered beast, gets a few informs, and he's just super, super beast. So I'm probably going to end up doing this SBC just from a card collector standpoint. 220,000 coins. If he doesn't get any other upgrades... That's fine with me. I want to get an Adama Traore in my club, not to have the sweatiest card in the game, but to have like a remembrance when I look back on my team, maybe play with this card. I feel like I want to be part of this, this portion of FIFA 20, to be honest. I want to feel like I got an Adama Traore in my team. And tons of people are doing this SBC because you see this card uh, in teams like crazy. I'm here people, I don't play weekend league, and at least not very much of it, but I hear people reporting back to me that they are seeing so many of those cards in weekend league that it's insane and this is the other thing i want to talk about with that adama sbc bros they just switched this they just switched this headliners can now show as specials wait it, it went away it went away dude i literally just sorted a special and there it was boom i searched special on headliner and it actually worked man let's go let's freaking go it actually worked you can search headliners under specials now I'm actually going to tweet this out at the moment because this is massive. They just switched this. You can now search headliners under special. This is awesome, man. G freaking G's EA. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this. Let's go. 
We're going to take a screenshot of this really quick, boys, because this is massive. Before, earlier today, these cards were not able to be um, seen through the special filter. And that is a problem. That is a big problem because people don't know how to find these cards on this game. They really had no idea how to find some of these cards uh, on the game. So that's a freaking GG from EA that they just changed that. Um, and you might see a little bit of the price because of that, I guess, but uh, probably not too much. So since this is late at night and you'll be watching this earlier in the morning, but that does make it easier for people to find these cards on the game. But exactly what I was saying before, or back to what I was saying, having that Adama Traore right wing card in the game, I think will decrease. You might see a little bit of extra sell off on right wings this week across the game, um, just because of the fact that that card, tons of people have that card now on this game. Tons of people have that card on this game now and it, it's in their clubs it's untradeable it's an sbc so they've got that card and they're rolling with it for the rest of fifa i do think that'll hurt a little bit the price it kind of sucks that bernardo silva came out and now we get that sbc but it is what it is other content that we got today flashback alexis sanchez 89 rated very nice upgrade um if you need a left wing in the Serie A, this is like your best card by far from an all-around player standpoint three-star weak foot's a little bit less than desirable but four-star skills is nice and uh, yeah, we like that, man. We like that Alexis Sanchez card. If it's a flashback United team you're running, that helps you there as well. So nice SBC there. And not too terribly overpriced on that SBC is either. Uh, and then the last SBC we got today, of course, we got a pack challenge with the headliner challenge. But we also got Timo Werner, player of the month, with the, actually a pretty solid upgrade, a plus two uh, with plus three shooting and then plus two around the rest of the board. So I am a fan of that upgrade right there. That's a nice, this is also a pretty decent valued SBC as well. So we like that. We do like that. But talking about some of the market movements that happened on the game today, I did not have a ton of time to be on the market, but I was watching a decent amount of icons. I bought a couple uh, special cards in the panic this morning. And this is something that I talked about in my video yesterday, watching some of the special cards in the panic the morning before the promotion and at the drop of the promotion was going to be an opportunity to make some coins today because um, this is a promo that people liked and remembered from last year. And there was a lot of panic selling going on that you could notice today. I was selling Deli Ali's at 62 to 65K on Thursday after rewards, Friday, yeah, Thursday night after rewards. This guy was back down to 50,000 coins today and I'm selling him now at like 58, 60K ish. So that was a really, really nice one right there. Uh, we do love to see that. So that's nice that uh, we got some rebound on some of this stuff. If you did buy anything earlier today, it is probably back up in price. It, how much is Delhi at the moment? Right around 60. I listed mine for 58 and it's sold. Actually, I maybe got a little bit of a lazy buyer there. I may have gotten a little bit of a lazy. I absolutely did. Look at these at 56, man. But regardless, you probably listed some stuff up. You probably made some coins. That is a G. Freaking G. That's what happens a lot on the promo Fridays, right? We have packs that are opened. We have coins that come onto the game. People save their weekend league rewards. I talked about that in my stream last night as well. I talked about how people were probably going to be saving their weekend league rewards, saving some upgrade packs and stuff. I think a lot of people opened packs today at the start of the promo because as we take a look at these pack percentages, 3.5% from a 100K pack, that's like middle of the road. That's kind of comparable to team of the group stage, actually a little bit less than team of the group stage. But just something to note uh, that these cards are going to be packed an okay amount, kind of in the middle between like, you know, Team of the Year nominees got packed a bunch and then, you know, uh, Road to the Final cards and Scream cards were barely packed at all. But these cards, three and a half percent out of a 100K pack, I think that's like a, a correct and a good um, percentage to be in packs. But again, you saw a lot of these cards today. Salah was one, two, eight at the second lightning round, the start of that second lightning round, 1.28 mil. The man is now 1.5 million coins, actually a little bit over one five at the moment. One five nine, he's almost one six. Okay, never mind. There's one at one five three seven. But um, just that just goes to show you that so many packs were opened right away. People opened their packs, they didn't pack anything, they want to go out and try the new card, and boom. The card goes up in price over into the night. So if you got any of these uh, in the first couple hours of lightning rounds, you did a good job, GGs. And now that they're actually searchable as specials, you might see them uh, tick up, especially the lower tier ones. You might see them tick up in price just a little, not a ton, but just a little. So again, tons of market movements today. A lot of these guys were up or a lot of these guys were down and they rebounded back up. 
Overall price trends, though, for a lot of these headliners is probably going to be on the downward trend for that first week. If we take a look at Rashford first week, his card came out. He must have had a good game on the weekend. This is last year, by the way. He went from 500,000 coins to 590, 605, didn't get an inform, and boom. Thursday, he's down to 444,000 coins, but rebounds quickly right after that. Has a good game out here, gets an inform, and boom, he's up to 800,000 coins. That's the cool thing about these cards is that if you can buy them this week, put them in your team, if it's a player that performs pretty well, pretty consistently, and has the possibility for informs, uh, you can actually make some coins on these cards in the long haul if you buy during this week. Honestly, these are live cards and always when you see live cards, except for ones to watch is most of the time, uh, sometimes those are too inflated when they're in packs and then they trickle down if they don't have any good games. But a lot of times live items rise out of packs. So you're probably going to see a lot of these rise in the next couple weeks after this promo. If there's one that you want for your team, I'm, tr I'm targeting a little bit later in the week as a buy time for some of these, like maybe Kyle Walker. Um, if you want that for your team, the best prem right back other than Trent Alexander Arnold in the league. Varan is more of an end game card. A lot of people are going to want to put in their squads. Lewa, Neymar, of course, the best Neymar in the game. Mertens probably feels unbelievable now with the, the 90 shot, 91 pace. So a lot of these cards, a lot of people are going to want to get their hands on them. So you probably will see these rise a little bit up out of packs. And again, I'm targeting more of a later uh, time in the week for the optimal buy time for these because I do think they're going to continue to put out SBCs during the week and that will supply these cards and since their pack weight is you know decently high three and a half percent kind of not not super high but just kind of in the middle there I do think you will see them get packed a decent amount to, on the game uh, this week one other small thing I do want to note uh, we do have some transfer cards entering the game Zlatan Ibrahimovic at Milan is now a live card in the game as you can tell, it's pretty rare. Uh, there's only a couple pages of him on the market. I don't even know if he was in lightning rounds today, but I do believe we have Mina Mino. Um, Elena, who transferred to Real Batiste, is, is, uh, is now in the game. But the big thing is this Zlatan, right? And this means that we could get a flashback Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, again, I said Mina Mino. He is in as a Liverpool player, so that is pretty hype. They have a list of those players on Footbin, so check out foot, or foothead.com to look at some of the players that have been um, added to their their new transfer sides. I don't know. They don't have like Ashley Young yet because that transfer was you know really recent. But Gedson Fernandez as well. I don't believe has a Spurs card because that was a more recent transfer. But the transfer cards are starting to roll into the game, which is cool, which is nice. We do love to see that. I'm going to check this Deli Alley with a Hunter really quick and just make sure that these aren't actual deals that I should be buying these cards at. Yeah, uh, you know what? Let's let's freaking do it. That's a, that's a position change as well. People are buying cards right now overnight. Let's see if we can ship these out at like anywhere between 62 and 63K and just make a couple coins a card if we do want to. Not a ton of coins. That one's a position change. Maybe we'll get the sell there. But yeah, man, this market right now is decent for trading. Again, because there is tons of things on this market in terms of coins. There are a lot of coins in this market. That's what I'm trying to say. Just because of the fact that people open lightning rounds, people save the weekend league rewards and stuff like that. Yeah, I think I might be able to get a sell here. Upper 60s. If I can get this 61K one out of there. But uh, this market is good for trading right now. And that's what you saw me do today. Flipping a few icons. Um, I got this Roberto Carlos today during lightning rounds at 1.07. So I got like 20K profit there. Not a ton, but it was okay. Uh, and then I flipped some of these other icons as well, which was nice. Uh, and then also high rated. I want to talk about the SBC fodder for a second because I told you guys to sell this stuff heading into the promo. And now obviously looking back, it would have been better for you to save it and hold it because it's up even higher now. But who would have guessed that we would have gotten a card like we did today with Adama Traore? I don't think anybody would have. But lo and behold, we did. And you can see now that these 86s are at 17,000, 18,000 coins. So if you still have your high rate, it's GG. You outsmarted me on that one. Um, but most times, first day, they don't have a promo. Or they don't start a promo with an SBC player like Adama Traore. So that was a bit of a rarity today that we had an SBC like that right off the bat. Now, again, these cards that have games this weekend, you're going to have to watch them closely as well. Because like, like we looked at that Rashford card from last year, Rashford had himself one heck of a game early on in the year. And then all of a sudden, his, his headliner card is shooting up in price. So 
Uh, I would definitely keep an eye on some of these cards as they have games this weekend. Maybe Varane, you know, some of the attackers especially because attackers are more, you know, prone and used to getting informs than, than the defenders are. So watch some of the attackers this weekend. Um, if their teams get off, th this is going to be the interesting thing with the four-game win streak thing. If the teams get off to a really, really hot start, and that you might see their card rise a little bit more, right? Because they're on a hot streak, especially Salah, since Liverpool is playing incredibly, incredibly well at the moment. Um, then, uh, you know, you have a really high chance of this team and this card getting upgraded sooner rather than later because of the fact that uh, it's Salah, right? And Liverpool is playing absolutely fantastic at the moment. They're on a tear. Uh, and that's just the crazy thing with these cards, right? A team could win three games in a row. And then you have them draw, and then they're done. That 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 uh, it doesn't it doesn't stop. It's it's four consecutive games where they have to win in a row. And if Salah and Liverpool, if they win three and then tie one, it resets. So I think that's the crazy thing that we'll be looking out for with these new cards is just seeing how the four game progression works out. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but these cards are gonna be really fun to trade with, really fun to use. Again, if you want to put one in your team, I would say start looking at it sooner rather than later look at it this week and stuff like that. And I want to make one last comment about these cards before I end the video. Every time we've had a two set promo this year, every time a two set promo has come like set one for, um, we had one set one and set two for ultimate scream. And we had set one and set two for road to the final set. One was always better than set two in terms of player selection and in terms of content. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I don't think that set two or week two of this promo can live up to set one. So I think this is going to be the week in terms of the headliner promo. That's just something to think of as well as we go out throughout this week. So again, watch these player prices throughout the week. They should be dropping a little bit as they get packed some more, but they're finally searchable as specials, which is we love to freaking see it because literally when I started recording this video, they were not searchable as special cards on this game, all right? They weren't they weren't searchable and now they are. That is a big time GG. So if you enjoyed the content today, make sure you tell me about it in the video down below. Comment down below with your favorite thing that you saw in the game today, whether you made some coins, whether you did the Adama SBC or just your general thoughts. I always appreciate those. If you enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the foot account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.